by Greg Brenton, who is the SVP of technology for Skydance Animation. How are you, Greg? I'm doing well. I just said Brenton, and I just told you I would <laughs> do that. Brenton. Yes. Um, now, you're going to be in Clay's keynote tomorrow. Yeah. So we I'm thought, excited. you know, maybe we give people a little sneak peek. But first, let's start out by, uh, you know, maybe there are a few people who may not have heard of Skydance by now, but tell us a little bit about Skydance and, you know, what sets it apart from competitors. Yeah. Uh, so Skydance is a big media company. Uh, I work at Skydance Animation, and we make animated feature films. Uh, we've been doing this for about six years now. Started from scratch, uh, pulling some, some talent from the other studios, and created uh, what's going to be a world-class animation studio. Right? We're, we've delivered two films already, on our way to doing two per year. So. Wow, wow. I mean, so only six years ago. Yeah. So I'm imagining you guys are going to do some, and already are doing things in some different ways. The thing that I love about Skydance Animation is we are really young, but we have a lot of talent. We have a lot of experience. So our technical debt at this studio is really low. We're able to make decisions quickly and start bringing new technologies into the filmmaking process that before at other studios, we would have to retire and evolve from the way it was done into something new. Now, here, without that technical debt, on one hand, we have nothing to solve some of these problems, so we're building it for the first time, but we can build it with all of our experience in mind. So what are some of those problems that you run into, again, in kind of, um, I did my research, and I know your goal is really to level up production, right? So what are some of the challenges that you do face and you're using technology to face, and we'll get to the technology yeah. part in a second. The, the challenge we have now is the pace. So uh, at other studios, it took a long time to get to a, a delivery schedule of two films a year. We're trying to do that faster than any studio I've been at in the past. That's a major challenge for us. Okay. On top of, creative needs to drive our whole world. Our schedules, our technology, everything is driven by our creative decisions. So following that, staying out of their way, hoping they forget about technology because they're just worried about stories and how the characters are evolving. I'm, I'm smiling because as I was telling you earlier, I oversee our global video production here and that is exactly the way that we go about everything. You know, yeah. I, I, I actually have a motion design and animation team and as long as the technology is working for us, our biggest thing is figuring out the story and really telling yeah. the best story possible for our Oracle community and audience. Now, how does Oracle cloud infrastructure play into this? How, do we, how are we helping you kind of keep up with pace and allow your creatives to do what they do? The, uh, for us, it's the flexibility to react to the creative changes. So using Oracle Cloud, we can scale up and scale down on our compute, our storage, our workstations based on what we need for the film. So whether that's a bad set of notes from a screening and we have to slow things down, I can shift the resources down if I need to. But in the great side, I can scale up heavily when it's time to hit the finish line. We've got a locked story and we just got to get the, de the delivery done we can scale up to a place where before we would have limits. Uh, when you operate your own data center and you've purchased your own hardware, you're locked into the performance of what you bought and the capacity that you bought. And you're paying for it, whether you're using it or not, and you can't go beyond it. With Oracle Cloud, we can, we can scale up, we can add more when we need it and only when we need it. It's like, it's like you know what's going to happen in Clay's keynote tomorrow. It's like you know the messaging that's coming. <laughs> <laughs> you must be part of the story somehow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> that that ability to um, have that elasticity, yeah. you know, that's the promise of the cloud. Right. Um, and, and so that's great to hear. But in, in addition to fueling the mission so specifically, have you seen, what sort of quantitative and qualitative gains have you gotten from being on Oracle Cloud? Yeah. For us, that ability to let the creatives drive it is key. Uh, we use notes. The notes that we get every day on the content that was created the day before, that's what drives the production forward. The qualitative gains that we get is the ability to get more content up on the screen for notes in dailies every day. The more I get, the more notes I get back, the more content I can iterate on, the faster I can get to a bigger decision or even to delivery. Uh, and quantitatively, if I need more horsepower, because I have a sequence that is really challenging, a lot of foliage, a lot of characters, a heavy environment that's taking 14 to 20 hours per frame to create, I need more 
to get it done to hit those creative targets. So, you know, we're talking about the technology impact, the impact on the business, right? Again, as a person who oversees a team of creatives, tell me what the human impact is of this. Like, how does this impact the people that you work with? Yeah, the, the best thing for us is when they forget about technology, when they are only focused on, on the story, the characters, the notes they got the day before. We can keep tech just running. Their day job is not to use our tools and our technology. Their day job is to think big and figure out how we hit those story beats and how we bring that laugh to the part that's supposed to be funny. The human side of this is actually removing technology. It's keeping us in the background. I say to the team, when we have like an all hands update around the studio and we talk about this film and that film and what the studio's goals are and we forget to mention technology, that's a huge win. Yeah. Don't worry that we didn't get recognized. Focus on the fact that our stuff is running so well and so in the background that our artists aren't even remembering that we're at a technology company. Which of course then makes their lives easier. They're happy at their jobs, right? You keep yeah. talent on longer, I'm assuming. So um, what about like the op what about the impact on, for example, your relationships with clients on this kind of keeping up with pace, the time savings that you're seeing, et cetera? Uh, a lot of that comes back to our broader notes and audience feedback. Yeah. So for us, we do about 10 screenings of our films from when it starts to when it's finished. Yeah. Um, those grow in who's in attendance. We have some audience previews late in the game. We need to be able to re react to those big story changes late in the game. If I get to an audience preview and maybe a character just isn't working and people aren't empathetic with that character, we might have to do some significant changes. That may be rolling back a lot of work that we've already completed. If I can't do that in the amount of time I've got left to deliver this film, Gotta we may have not it, have yeah. to be able to change that character. We may right. not be able to fix that, that challenge with the film. Yeah. So working with uh, our distributors, that delivery date doesn't change. Yeah. Like we uh, deliver on it. that day. <laughs> and we have just a certain amount of time to get all this stuff right while getting all of that feedback. Those internal notes, those audience preview notes, we, uh, we screen our films for our whole studio. And so our whole studio is allowed to comment and give notes on how things went in that last screening. And ideally, like me, you're not following along day to day. And so you only see it at the screenings. Yeah. And so you have a bit of a fresh perspective. Great. Let's talk about AI for a second. And I think, you know, so my son is in school for game design right now. And he's thinking, well, what is, how is AI going to change what I'm studying in it. The, mm. the creative folks at Skydance and Skydance Animation must be thinking the same thing. On the plus side, how's it going to help me on the negative side? Yeah. Is, it gonna, is it going to make some of what I do, uh, you know, take it away in some way? And, and so how are you guys thinking about that? This isn't the same, but it's similar to 20 plus years ago when we moved animation out of hand-drawn sure. pencil on paper right. to a computer. And we introduced a mouse instead of a pencil. And there was a lot of the same concerns at that time. Like, will this computer change my life, change how my job is? And is it gonna help me or is it going to stifle me? And getting through that, it was about how the tech takes away the things that are redundant for you or the things that, that slow you down. Yeah. We have a very complicated uh, pipeline to make these animated films. Um, there's a lot of tool sets and a lot of complexity in the simulation systems or the rendering tools. The more that I can focus on them doing the creative part and let the computer do the part that they don't have to, that they, that they can take their instructions, let the computer do what it does best, Focus on what you have control over and what you're, you're creating, your notes, your vision, and let the computer fill in all that stuff that really is a lot of work for you. The data management part of your job, how can I take it away? Right, and I, this, this sounds like a similar conversation that I've had with my son. What matters is the memorable moments. What you remember are the memorable characters. Yeah. And if all this technology can let you just focus on that, that's Everybody right. wins. That's right, that's exactly right. So how do we enhance that artist's workflow? How do we get them to focus purely on what they do best 
that no computer in any form, whether it's a Whatever. tool or AI, can do without them. Right. And so we'll let that, add this to their toolbox, allow them to do more in the area that they excel in. It's, it's leveraging AI with the human. You can't get rid of, the human's always going to be there. It's leveraging AI to get rid of those mundane tasks to allow, yeah. again, coming back to it, for, to allow our people to be more creative, to do, make, create better stories, right? To do these other things that they wouldn't have had time to without yeah. you know, leveraging technology in that way. Um, so what's next? What does the future look like for Skydance Animation? We have a very ambitious goal of being a, a studio entirely based in the cloud. Uh, we're halfway through this journey. Uh, we expect by the end of next year that our studio will be entirely based in the cloud. No more workstations under the desk, wow. no more data centers that we own and operate, no more storage systems that we have to maintain and manage. We're also a global studio, so add the complexity of we have locations in Stanford, Connecticut, in Madrid, Spain, and in Los Angeles, as well as other uh, remote users. Right. How do we operate globally while keeping everybody as close together as possible right. and interacting and building on top of each other? Yeah. So by the end of next year, we will be retiring everything that we have on premises and moving entirely into a cloud-based studio. So this is a huge That's effort exciting. for us. Yeah. Uh, Oracle's taking us there. So it will all be built on Oracle, and if all goes well, which I'm positive that it will, it will, because we're on this track, we're going to have more flexibility, more power, and shrink our studio, even though we're, you know, on both sides of the planet. And how will this set you up to defeat competition? I mean, how does this, how does this compare to other studios? Uh, other studios are trying in these spaces. Uh, I don't know of anyone who's made it all the way here that's a studio of our size. Wow. So uh, we will be the first to do this. Wow. Uh, what we want to leverage is talent, global talent. They are all over the planet, and not all of them want to relocate when they can change jobs. Right. So if I have my basis, and we have three studio locations now, those are my big hubs, but I may be looking at talent in a completely different region. Sure. How can I bring them on? How can I bring them into the group and have them feel like they're sitting right next to someone who's in one of the hubs and bring their creative talent to this process. Me having to pull them to where I live, Doesn't that's work. not the way it works yeah. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Like the talent's out there, especially the top talent, and yes. they can drive where they, where they go and who they work for. Yeah. So Absolutely. if I can meet them there, I can leverage their talent and bring them into my studio with very little effort. Yeah, it's amazing. Well. Um, we are going to wrap up here, but I, I have to ask you, um, this is your first time at, at Cloud World, right? What are you hoping to take away this year? I am looking for relationships, right? I'm trying to, uh, to meet the people that are also using Oracle Cloud, that are looking at solutions that we've been, that we're trying to do now in their industry. We know we're a bit of a unique industry here at Oracle, uh, but who's got similar paths that they've taken that, has, that we can learn from? And then there's also a lot to Oracle. It's a little bit of a big company. Yeah. <laughs> so there's some places here that we just don't have a lot of awareness yet. And while it may not be something that's obvious for us to take advantage of, how do we snoop around and see? Because yeah. you never know. Well, there's going to be a few uh, others on stage with, with you and with yeah. Clay. Uh, we will be watching, by the way, we are Clay's favorite employees. That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He mentioned you by name. Yeah, now. I'm sure, I'm, he can't stop talking about yeah. it, so. Uh, <laughs> but we'll be watching. Thanks yes. for joining us oh, here. Oh, thank though. you. It was really nice talking thank with you guys. You.